Hello, housemates, and welcome back to Avernum Escape from the Pit. So, we're gonna go back to Formello and check out the rest of that underground there. Um, then, the next order of business really is to uh, find Koth's uh, lair, I believe. Because uh, Koth is like the, the dragon of knowing all sorts of stuff. So we need to figure out where he is. I have a fear that he's out in the uh, tunnels west of Fort Remote, and that place was a fucking nightmare. So uh, we may want to power up. We may want to defeat Sisthis first, get some power from there, and then go and deal with um, uh, the, the, the western tunnels. So, you know, maybe a while in coming. Oh, come on. Chambers of Thantria. The hell? Well, we can get in here at least. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. You enter a concealed chamber under the city of Fermello. A rank, reptilian smell hangs heavy in the air. You also hear deep breathing. It comes from the entrance to the pen in the north. Whoever's down here, they are determined to preserve their privacy. Okay, you fucking weirdo. Oh, that's the, the, the crown of the empire. That's a Thantria sentinel. Uh, I don't think it likes me. Oh, he's not going to be too bad. Yeah, I was... I should have seen that. But again, we have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lord of demon kind. What does this paltry fire lizard have for us to fear? Nothing, that's what is rhetorical question. Don't answer it. <laughs> Eat a dick, lizard. Your own, preferably. Okay. Alright, Thantria, you empire, I assume, person. Oh. Oh, fuck. This looks like it's gonna be bad. Alright. What's up, biatch? You enter a round chamber and find yourself in surprising luxury. Polished hardwood floors, brought with great difficulty from the surface. Vases, tapestries, glowing crystals, everything necessary to create a small island of surface luxury in this savage land. A sorceress sits on a throne by the north wall, watching you with great interest. She is very pale. She's been down here for a while. The crown symbol of the empire is prominent on her chest. You can understand why she is hiding. If she emerged in public, she would be attacked in moments. She says, Welcome, Avernite. Welcome to the lair of Thantria. You have passed the first of my tests. Perhaps, if you are suitable, we might do a little business. Behave yourself and stay out of my private chambers, or I will be forced to destroy you. Four massive golems stand in the circles to the south, ready to protect their mistress. All right. So, what's up? Ooh, she's got a special picture. Thantria watches you from, with fascination from her throne. More young Avernites. Recent arrivals, yes? She makes no attempt to conceal the symbol of the Empire on her chest. You people of the underworld are so fascinating, so proud. Come closer. Let me get a look at you. What are you doing down here? She stares at you, lost in thought. Then she nods. Yes, I have heard of you. My agents have heard whispers of your adventures. We may be of use to each other. Why am I here? I am an envoy, a diplomat of sorts, here with the knowledge and permission of your king. Ask the mayor above if you do not believe me. 
And now, to business. Uh, you're an envoy? Yes, of the Empire, hiding down here and waiting for potential helpers to come to me. You say that your presence is known. Of course it is. Ask the mayor above if you do not believe me. Avernum and the Empire are not at war. We still have relations, and your leaders know that you need the trinkets I offer to survive. How do you communicate with the Empire? They have their ways to communicate their wishes to me. When I send messages of success to them, they send rewards down through the portal. By the way, don't enter my private chambers. If you do, I must punish you severely. Um, and how will you return to the Empire when your time here is done? Her smile turns very cold. That is not for you to know, Avernite. The Empower Empire has knowledge and power beyond your comprehension. Um, what are those golems? My defenders, you will mind your manners and stay out of my chambers while you are here. I am a diplomat. You are standing on Empire land now. Um, how do you pass your time down here? It is tedious, I confess. I am alone and shunned. I must hide here. I do have a few books. Oh, well, you said we could be of use to each other? Indeed. The Empire keeps a close eye on events in Avernum. I do what I can to remove potential threats to Emperor Hawthorne's people. When Avernum helps us, we pay them in return. Very well. For example, an assassin recently fled the surface into Avernum. His name is Mondvi, and he is hiding in a bat-infested cave not far to the south. We want you to kill him. He has hidden himself well, but he cannot evade the gaze of the Empire. Um, how... Uh, an assassin? Mondvi killed the mayor of a town on the surface. A minor official of a small town, but a sworn servant of the Empire, of Emperor Hawthorne nonetheless. Thus, the death will be avenged. He tricked his way into the portal, into the underworld, thinking this would save him. It will not. Uh, how can I find him? The cavern in question is northeast of your Fort Dovno. Silly little place. Mandvi is hiding behind a concealed wall near several crystal formations. If you find crystals, examine the walls very closely. But I'll be aiding the Empire. Remember, though you are exiled, you are still a subject of Emperor Hawthorne. It is his wish. It is your King Micah's wish that I be aided. The reward will be generous. I see no problem. All right. That's all for now. <coughs> well, this seems like something that uh, the, uh, the Scimitar would love to know about. Let's go talk to the mayor. Let's see if this is all in the up and up. Um, do you know that there is an agent of the Empire under this city? I do. The castle does as well. We are not at war with the Empire. Diplomatic contact does us all good. All right, fine. So, we were not being lied to. It's all in the up and up. Well, you know, maybe not all in the up and up. But I do feel like there might be something interesting to have this interact with the, uh, the scimitar quests. All right, fucking Fort Dovno. Go find this bat cave assassin. Okay, so Fort Dovno is there. And Bat, cave assassin, northeast of Fort Dovno. I think we've already been to this bat place. Yeah, okay. I thought that was it. We didn't already kill him, did we? I, I doubt it. I mean, <laughs> uh, 
We have wrecked this place up. Because we did find an empire. That's weird. There was an empire something uh, down here. Did did we already kill Monthy? All right, here's some crystal formations. You suspect this is the crystal cave Thantria told you about. You inspect the walls very carefully. Much to your surprise, when you try and touch the west wall, your hand passes through it. Moments later, the illusory wall fades away. The assassin, Mon the assassin Monvi must, near must be nearby. Well, this is just a chock full of surprises little cavern, isn't it? All right, Monvi. You gonna, you gonna chat with us? Maybe offer us something to let you escape? Or are you just gonna, like, shoot on sight? Maybe we can recruit him to work for the scimitar or something. That would be cool. But somehow, I feel... No, he's already red. We're just going to have to fight him, I believe. There is a man standing in this chamber. He's back to you. He is wearing worn, filthy red robes, and a long, curved dagger hangs from his belt. He must be a blood cultist. There are few of them left. The Empire has had even more success fighting them than it has against the dragons. There are three pens off to the side. You can hear beasts snarling in them. Monvi would have called them to his aid, except that he hasn't noticed you. If you get closer, that is sure to change. Well, his back is surely not to us. Let's get ourselves ready. We need to get War to the Elements from somewhere. Blood Cultists, I'm thinking now Dragon Age and Mind Control, so that's got me a bit paranoid. Um, I think Cloak of Blades is what we want at the moment. Alright, let's go. Suddenly, Monvi spins around and faces you. The cultist hands flies to his dagger. You get a good look at his face in the light of the braziers. He is pale, thin, and entirely mad. Insane even by blood cultist standards, which are somewhat lax in that area. He snarls. So, two hunters come face to face. It is time for the spilling of blood, yes? How lovely. Um, what are you going to do in Avernum? I will spread the great silence. Your roaring disrupts, disrupts one of the few places of peace in our foul world. I will fight for the silence, for none else will. You killed an official of the Empire? No. I killed a being whose life was an affront, whose spirit cried out and disrupted the great peace. This offender was one of Hawthorne's sworn lackeys, and that was of no importance to me. He thinks, though I suppose I didn't mind. Perhaps we don't need to fight. What? Of course we need to fight. You fight against the Great Silence, I fight for it. Now I will bring peace to the damaged space disrupted by your loud, stupid mouth. He begins to chant. Fine. I don't think you're going to have a lot of success, dude. I am pretty boss. I killed a fucking demon lord. Who the fuck are you? Oh, I did not mean to do that, but it worked, it happened. Oh, you're so fucked. Bye, dickhead. 
Alright, so we said there were creatures and pens around here. So I should watch out for those, I think. Fucking cave bats. They should be no problem at all. Okay. Well, that's clearly something we're supposed to have found a bit earlier. Because that was pretty easy. Warg skin cloak, which is pretty crummy. Well, it's better than that thing. So, why don't you put. No, you, you, you. All right, what other beasties have we? Eh, just more fucking bats. Imagine that they won't be particularly bothered by fire. Now I did learn other spells. I learned Arcane Lash, so I should think about using that. Alright, well... This place is done and dusted quite easily. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if anything's gonna greet us on the way out. I wonder if Fantria knows that we fucking busted up this uh, um, empire facility here, or the other one in that other place, or that we're working for the scimitar, or that we fucking wrecked a demon lord. But there's a lot of stuff you didn't know. Alright, I did the thing, lady. Give me something good. <clears throat> Monvi is dead. You tell her of your hunt for Monvi. She nods, pleased. Monvi was a coward and a killer, and the world is better without him. You should be proud. She gives you a sack of coins and a sparkling necklace. This may the, be the beginning of a profitable relationship. I have more work for you. You have more work? I do. There is a settlement to the west run by a very interesting fellow named Kias. He intrigues us, and we would have him aided. He has sent word that someone is causing him trouble, someone who is no true follower of the Empire. Travel to Kios and assist him. When it is done, return to me for your reward. Tell me about Kios. I will let him tell you himself. I understand he is quite the talker. Uh, well, what help does Kios need? I will let him tell you himself. Fine. Everyone is so chatty. Go do it yourself, they say. Well, what if I said that to you, you jackasses? Right, we need to sell some stuff. 
To whom might we do this? Maybe Jasmine will buy some things from us. Or you. Hey. All right, let's sell some stuff. We'll keep that. Sell. Sell. Oh, I forgot. I either forgot or didn't know I had that. That's something to look at. These we are selling, I believe. Selling that. Keep the rod of alacrity. Okay. Gold necklace, jade studded chain. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. Blessed boots, mica band. Uh, I might keep that. I don't know what other people are wearing. Okay. Keep the rod of battle. Crystal symbol. I'll yeah, get rid of that. That. And we got a lot of money, like 5,000 gold. Okay, good, great, fine. So, um, a lot of stuff to do in no particular order. We should focus on getting to assist this. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll head back. castle word. Oh, Fort Avernum. Uh, there's... N I don't think there's a pylon here. Just the regular old gigantic portal. Here's where I want to go. Here we are in the castle, and I think we're going to end this episode here. Uh, we do need to go talk to Kias for Captain Houghton as well, so there's a lot of reason for us to go up that way. But first, but first, I believe we should deal with the Slith. Um, <clears throat> now, how are we supposed to get there? We, do we need to approach from this side? I don't believe that will work. Hmm. We're going to have to find a way to get there.
Uh, so we'll go out over to this side. Let's just travel up that way already and see if we can find a straightforward way to get there. That's not going to be helpful. Okay, so there's no boat here. We're going to need some kind of boat. There's the Crypt of Drath. Maybe that we need to start off from much closer to the beginning of things. Uh, in fact, we probably sh it looks like we may not may not have been wise to come back uh, to the castle at all. Um, so we may need to go exploring with our boat and work our way across uh, that way. Hmm. briefly to Micah about this Empire agent. Okay, you're not going to say anything about it. traveling cannot be good for our health. Okay, so let's go check out our boat. Which... So our boat is, where's our boat? Damn it all. Okay, we have a boat up here. That boat is not gonna let us go anywhere interesting. So where did we leave our boat that we got down in this area? Whatever. Hey boat, where are you at? Did we leave it in Kotra? Here's a boat. Okay, so we go this way, which we have not done yet. There's a lot of stuff that we can do around here. All right, so this is clearly what we need to do. We need to go this way. Uh, we will start 
examining this stuff for the next episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed our progress. We are making it, and quickly, quickly. So uh, please hit a thumbs up on this video, and please subscribe so that you can see our continued quest for glory and escape from the underworld. I should have said from the pit there. It would make more sense. Anyway, if you're not going to do any of those things, I don't care what you do.